Mr. Fraske, you are the president of the CRIF. Could you tell me, tell us about, about the CRIF, how many people it represents, what, what, what is role and what you plan to do and what you do? The CRIF is the representative council of uh, French Jewish institutions. It is uh, an umbrella organization that is most of Jewish organizations are part of it. The CRIF is the uh, political representative body of uh, French Jewry. Very good. Could you tell us about the, the French Jewry and what the ma major challenges of the French Jewry today? Yes, we are now the largest uh, diasporic Jewish population after the American one. Uh, s about 600,000 people. Uh, it is a, a very uh, active uh, very vibrant Jewish community, very close to Israel. Uh, the, no, the figures, the usual figures, show that about 300,000 Jews from France go to Israel every year, which is a very, very large proportion, as you can imagine. Most of French Jews have some uh, direct links with Israel. Many have family in Israel. So the... Uh, the connection between French Jewry and Israel is probably one of the uh, tightest in, uh, among uh, all Jewish institutions in the world. Yeah. This connection to Israel is a resource, to it's strengthening or it's, it's weakening the, the, the Jewish organization? In some way, people say that when people want to go to the JCC, they go to Tel Aviv because they, they want to have a, a fan and to have a Jewish experience. They will go to Jerusalem or to Tel Aviv. Does it mean that it increases the, the population going to the communitary, to, to the all, uh, Jewish community organization or activities? There are, there are, there are, there are about 2,500 Jews who uh, make their aliyah every year to Israel. It is definite that these Jews uh, will not take part anymore in the French Jewish institution, the French Jewish life. Uh, does it mean that this uh, weakens French, uh, French Jewry? Uh, I would not say definitely so. It, uh, it is a very, uh, it, it is something that is uh, uh, absolutely normal that a French Jew who thinks that uh, he can live a, a, a more uh, a meaningful life in Israel because uh, because of his uh, because of uh, uh, religious or for ideological reason it makes his aliyah. It's, it's it, some of my some members of my family uh, uh, did their aliyah, and this is absolutely normal. Is uh, uh, the aliyah because uh, the feeling would be that the French Jews have no place in France anymore, which is not true. I think they have a place in France and uh, the, some of them have difficulties and we will speak about the anti-Semitism, uh, but it is not true to say that there is such a growing trend in anti-Semitism that Jews, French Jews are constrained, compelled to, uh, to go to Israel. Good. So there is a trend in all the world of disaffection of the young people don't go anymore to the synagogue or to the uh, Jewish activities or, or acti organized institutions. Do you feel also such a, a phenomenon? Definitely not. Definitely not. The number, the, the young generation is usually more uh, religious uh, than the, the older generation. They have links with, their links with Israel are strong. We do not, I do not feel any disaffection uh, with, the younger with the younger generation in France. This, what you, uh, what you speak about might, be, might hold true for the United States, for instance. It's not true in France, as far as I can, as far as I can deduce from what I know. How do you see the future? What do you think should be done or could be done to improve what you do and what the, the Jewish community to be more healthy? Well, a French Jewry lives, uh, has to fight against specific challenges. Uh, there are places in France where relations between Jews and, uh, 
and the population are not good, mostly because the population in the population uh, there are suburbs with a large, with a very high number of unemployed uh, people, and with a population um, predominantly uh, of Muslim origin. Uh, so we know that there are some uh, in these areas the the Israelo-Palestinian conflict, the Israel-Arab conflict has really been imported in France. Everyday difficulties of some young Jews are really uh, something that is, uh, has to be taken into account and uh, the number of uh, uh, violent actions against Jews has dramatically increased in, in the last 10 uh, years. It, it has uh, it is increasing every time there is a a, a, a fighting event in the, in the area, in the, in the Israel area, whether it be the uh, the second uh, the Lebanon war or the the uh, castled operation in Gaza, uh, but there is also a, a trend in the young Muslim population to integrate the the anti-Jewish stereotypes and uh, to. Um, to uh, integrate some uh, uh, aggressivity against uh, ag against young Jews. So this is a this is a major problem, and this problem is also uh, amplified by the fact that um, uh, 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 a large portion of the uh, of uh, the parties which are at the extreme left of the political arena. Uh, are taking this Israelo-Arab uh, conflict, the Israel-Palestinian conflict, as uh, um, fighting field for the po political ideology, ideological battle, and uh, so they are at the forefront of all the uh, delegitima delegitimization process. Uh, which is taking place in France, as it is taking place in other countries uh, in Europe, uh, and which is uh, uh, something that we have uh, really to think very deeply about, because this is the major trend that has evolved these last years, and which is in a, a very dangerous trend against Israel. How it impacts the Jewish community uh, 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 identification? Identification. I mean, in, in the U.S., we know that in a lot of liberal college, a lot of young Jews, because the Israeli issue is a is a controversial issue. It's something that is not uh, correct to speak about or to have a position. They prefer to avoid it, and then prefer to avoid to be involved in Jewish identity or activities in the campus. Do you think that it's something happening with similar in France? I, 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 I was told that this uh, problem exists in, uh, in American universities. It, it is different in France. There is, uh, as I told you, I think that the, 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 the Jewish identification plus the uh, link towards Israel is growing in the young, gener in the young generation. Uh, what it uh, uh, so there is no the, 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 there is no interiorization of the aggressivity against Israel within the young Jewish population, as far as I know. Uh, what is uh, unknown for the years to come is how much of this aggressivity against Israel will develop in the country will develop and will become commonplace in the, popu in the young population which will, uh, uh, which will make problems with the, young, with the Jewish population and with the young Jewish population, the student person, student Jewish population. We know that there, are, there is a, 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 a number of uh, very uh, active, aggressive, uh, pro-Palestinian organizations but the, uh, I wouldn't say now that they are leading the, they are totally leading the field in the, um, at university and among the 
and that uh, I would never, I would not say that uh, Jews are surrendering to them. Uh, this is a, this is an issue that was, uh, uh, that we will, uh, which may uh, be more. Uh, it is an issue that is uh, concerning, concerns us very much. We will see how it develops, but as I told you once again, there is no self-restraint uh, for Jewish identification because of this, uh, because of these surroundings. So, so, if I understand well, you are optimistic for the future of the French jury. Oh, I'm not a bit. Oh, well, I'm not optimistic. I'm not. Uh, well, the French jury does exist. It's a large community. The community will remain. It has a very good, uh, uh, it, 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 it has a very good reason to stay and to stay as uh, firm and uh, as it is now. There are challenges that we have to fight and challenges are because of demography, these challenges may be difficult, but uh, we have to um, uh, we, 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 we are not in a hopeless situation, definitely not. Very good. What do you do, I mean, uh, to expect that the young Jews will remain Jew, I mean, it's a one of the priorities of a community. What kind of activities do you do to, to encourage and to nurture and to, and to this kind of, of uh, Jewish identification? Well, Jewish identification has different, has different ways. This is an issue that, was, uh, uh, that we will, uh, which may uh, be more, uh, it is an issue that is uh, concerning, concerns us very much. We will see how it develops, but as I told you once again, there is no self-restraint uh, for Jewish identification because of, this, uh, because of these surroundings. So, if I understand well, you are optimistic for the future of the French jury. Oh, I'm not a bit. Oh, well, I'm not optimistic. I'm not. Uh, well, the French jury does exist. It's a large community. The community will remain. It has a very good. Uh, uh, it, 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 it has a very good reason to stay and to stay as uh, firm and uh, as it is now. There are challenges that we have to fight and challenges are because of demography these challenges may be difficult but uh, we have to um, uh, we, we we are not in a hopeless situation definitely not